Daisy, the diesel rail car, loves having buffers and an engine that rips. She loves having wheels and a horn that hoots. But most of all, Daisy loves working on Sir Toppin Hat's railway. It was the day of the Sodor summer picnic. Sir Toppin Hat came with news of a special job for Daisy. You are to collect children from the airport and take them to the picnic. He boomed cheerfully. Daisy was excited. She set off right away. The airport was new, and all the engines wanted to go there. Soon, Daisy arrived at the airport. She was excited to see the control tower, the huge hangar, and the red and white striped windsock. Then, she heard a loud noise in the sky. A jet plane was coming into land. Daisy thought it looks very splendid. Daisy rode over to the hangar. Hello, Hunk Daisy. I'm Daisy, and I'm a diesel rail car. Hello, said the plane. I'm Jeremy, and I'm a jet plane. It must be wonderful being able to fly, said Daisy. It is, said Jeremy. I can go anywhere I want. Flying is the most fun in the world. Daisy thought Jeremy was being boastful. Hmm, I like traveling on tracks. Daisy huffed. I roll past farms and villages and see all the wonderful sights of Sodor. Well, from the air, I see the wonderful sights of Sodor all at once, said Jeremy. Daisy felt upset. Then. She saw the children. They were waiting on the platform. Daisy oiled quickly over to collect them. Hmm. I never want to talk to a jet plane again. She huffed. Daisy rode over to the picnic. She was happy to leave the airport behind. But when she turned a bend in the track, she had to stop at a signal. Daisy heard Jeremy taking off, and then Jeremy flew right over her roof. It's not fair," huffed Daisy. "Jet planes don't have to stop at signals." Daisy rode past the windmill, but Daisy could still see Jeremy. He was now high in the sky. Suddenly, Daisy saw a cow on the tracks in front of her. Jet planes don't have to stop for cows, Daisy oiled sadly. Daisy arrived at the picnic. The blankets were laid out, and everyone was having a wonderful time. But Percy thought Daisy looked sad. Jet planes can go wherever they like. I wish I were a jet plane, oiled Daisy. But engines can pull passenger coaches and take children to picnics, peeped Percy. Engines are real useful. But Daisy wasn't sure. Jeremy was jetting to the mainland, but dark rain clouds were gathering. And Jeremy had to return to the airport.
Daisy was passing the airport as Jeremy came in to land. Daisy didn't want to talk to him, but Jeremy called out, "Daisy, a summer storm is on its way. The children's picnic will be ruined." <gasps> Grease and oil," gasped Daisy. "I must tell Sir Top and Hat." Daisy reached the picnic just in time. Quick! Tooted Daisy. There's a big storm coming. The picnic will be washed away. Everyone packed up the picnic as quickly as possible, and then they boarded Daisy. The children were sad that the picnic was over. Then, another idea flew into Daisy's roof. She rode quickly back to the airport. This time, Daisy wanted to talk to Jeremy. Please, can the children have their picnic in your hangar? She asked. Of course, said Jeremy. What a splendid idea! Daisy was very happy. Soon, all the children were having a wonderful time, and so was Sir Topham Hat. Well done, Daisy and Jeremy! He boomed. Together, you have saved the picnic. You are both really useful. Jeremy was happy to have helped, and Daisy had never felt prouder to be a diesel engine.